Well, I love to sing, but I consider myself a songwriter. Andrea. I love to sing. I've always sung. I love to sing. I grew up in Southern California. My two idols were Donna Summer and Olivia Newton-John. And I did kind of struggle for a while with, who am I? What am I doing? I love to sing, but I'm compelled to write. I have been a songwriter for quite a while and I've written a lot of songs. No, you probably don't know any of them because none of them have come out on popular radio. I am almost 50. I wrote my first song when well under 20, but I didn't put out my first song until I was 30. And I didn't learn the ook until I was in my forties. I love so to sing, but I consider myself a songwriter. And I'm probably an average singer. My, my partner in all things would say I'm an average singer. We have a band together. But on the mic, I'm really good at capturing the motion and I can get into characters. But in person, I have a lot of anxiety. So my ook songs sound really different than my studio recordings because in the studio recordings, I can just be me and the microphone and I can get very intimate with it and let out my deepest Cancer Moon stuffs. But when I'm in person doing the ook stuff, I'm so concerned with, am I giving a good performance? Is my voice okay? Uh, am uh, I looking at the people enough? Am I getting the words right? And but so when I'm doing studio songs, I do them in all keys and it's a lot more intimate, even though a lot of the songs are like Christmas songs and fun songs, just the way I interact with the mic is really different. Most of the songs that I did, I did with my bands. I didn't have my own instrument, so I didn't create the compositions. I, I always went off of whatever I was given. Sometimes you aren't totally in line with what the other person's genre is, but I also have a particular sound to my voice. My partner was successful in the urban and R&B world, and I just don't have that voice. I can't imagine why. It took some time to figure out how to work together, and the way we really did it was through Christmas songs. Like, you know what? I'm gonna try writing my own songs for a while, just so I could get some of the, just the stuff I have inside out. I also have like just silly songs that I wanna do and really folky songs that I wanna do, but I had no instrument to make my own songs. I met this great person who was like, I can't believe you don't play the ukulele. And I was like, really? The ukulele, okay, never really thought about it. And my son jokes that I have dinosaur arms. So I thought, okay, I tried the guitar and it just never clicked. It was always awkward. It was too much. I, I, I tried to play the flute. Of course, I chose the one instrument where you need long arms and fingers. And I have these tiny pinkies and these tiny arms. And I was like, well, let me try the ook. I, I knew someone who taught themselves the ook and I was like, if they can do it. Why can't I do it, right? So I picked up the ook and loved it. Within the first week, I had written my first song. And so, I'm a songwriter. I am a songwriter and not a singer. So when you hear my ook songs, don't be too upset. But if you want a beautiful sounding one, get the albums because when I'm on the mic, it's just me and the mic. I don't have to be concerned about what's the performance like? It, are people enjoying this? Is my voice coming out right? I only am concerned about how does my voice sound and how do I and the mic connect? I can be a little pitchy. That's true. I haven't spent the last 49 years crafting my voice for this, but part of that is nice because when I get on the mic, I still have a very young sounding voice, which is really unique for someone my age. I do love to write songs and I do love to perform them, but I get all freaked out and in my own feelings when I'm performing them. For a long time when I was at the beach playing my ook, if someone just walked by and looked at me, I would just totally mess up. And I'm gonna say that still happens sometimes today. That is why I am a songwriter. So like the whales, I have songs in me and I'm compelled to sing them and let them out. Hopefully, or some great person with a great voice will say, hey, I love some of your songs. Let me sing. I'm going to be like, yes. And I could not be satisfied forever singing the same song over and over again. But I could be satisfied constantly creating a new song and only singing it really well one time. I am not a singer because I've only ever found one song that I would like to cover. And if you're a singer, you hear songs and you're like, that's a great song. I want to sing that song. And I've only ever heard one song that I was like, I definitely want to sing that song. Unfortunately, the guy never got back to me, so I can't sing his song. I'll just have to write my own version with different words, different melody, different key, but a similar 
ideology, which is what I liked about the song. So that, in all my ramblings, is why I'm a songwriter. And also a lot of what my ranting videos and rambling videos are gonna be like. So if this was too much for you, uh, sorry. If it wasn't, hey, like and subscribe because you're gonna get a lot more Drea than this. So I love to sing, but I consider myself a songwriter. Drea!